other that currently unidentified adult male moving into the waterfall he really wasn't having much success in the far pool it looks like he wanted to try to get into a spot closer uh, to to our side of things maybe in that jacuzzi but of course that's occupied by 747 747 moved moved or moved out just slightly to challenge him that other bear is moving in to challenge him and i hope you're able to hear that roaring now this is a an actual this is a real intense fight you rarely see these Now we'll see how they break off this encounter. Again, that was a very intense fight. I mean, this is a, we, we enjoy watching the bears here, but this is not a game for them. This is certainly, uh, you know, it matters to their survival. That other bear came over, directly challenged 747, who was challenging him before. There's blood actually, you know, from 747's mouth. Looks like he's bleeding there, so he's certainly injured. 747 is moving away, not occupying that fishing spot that he had before. So it looks like that other bear may have been able to uh, to win that fight. And maybe now he outranks 747. But so, you know, they, like I said before in the broadcast, they try to avoid physical confrontation, but that posturing doesn't always resolve conflict. And occasionally it does happen where they need to come to physical blows to do it. Now the behavior of this other bear in the next few moments will sort of indicate, I think, a bit of his mindset. He's very hungry, looking for scraps that 128 had left behind. He smell her eating salmon on the lip. Not necessarily being aggressive towards her, but he definitely wants some of those fish. You see how quickly their mindset shifts from that, that violent battle to just going ahead and eating. 747 looking back at that other bear constantly. Let's see what happens when he goes to the island here. I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep you informed of what the other bear is doing. The other bear right now is just uh, trying to fish at the edge of the jacuzzi. Seven four seven still posturing on the island, so still feeling a bit bold there. Sometimes bears try to do that; they're saving face, almost. But it, to me, it really did look like the other bear had the advantage in that in that fight. The other bear was the one to release seven four seven. Seven four seven was pinned down in the water. 747 does not come back to the jacuzzi if he does not challenge this other bear during the rest of the evening then again i think that'll indicate that the other bear has uh 
has the term has has determined, yeah, in, in their own way, that he is more dominant than 747. Seven four seven on the island, looking back towards the waterfall, but not coming back to fish. This other bear, again occupying where seven four seven was. Their sizes and everything. Seven four seven, I think, looks like a, a heftier bear carrying more weight than this this one in the jacuzzi right now. But you have to be able to back up your threats. So if you're walking straight up to a bear, challenging him, getting in his face. That bear may call your bluff. That's exactly sort of what um, this bear right here did to 747. And again, look how quickly he just transitioned from that really intense fight to eating salmon. If that happened to me, I, you know, I'd be so full of adrenaline, I'd practically be shaking. Maybe not able to concentrate on other tasks, but this bear is going right on with the business of, of eating, gaining weight to survive. 747 still posturing on the island. You can see all the other bears at that time were mostly just going about their business. So they're focused on their own needs. If you're tuning in a little bit late to the broadcast as well, my name is Mike Fitz. I'm your resident naturalist with Explore.org, the world's largest live nature cam network. I'm also a former park ranger at Katmai National Park. So that's how I got to know these brown bears. Got my start here as a ranger in 2007, and I'm glad Explore.org has given me the opportunity to to share this experience with you. This is an amazing place. It's, it's a place uh, where we do see bears and salmon competing uh, to survive in, in what is a very harsh uh, environment.